Hello folks, my name is Brian Davis, Taptastic Brian Davis to be exact, and I'm here at the historic Swing 46 right here in New York City's Hell's Kitchen. And I'm gonna teach you a little dance, a little ditty called the Shim Sham Shimmy. Now, this is the Tap Dance National Anthem, but it's also a dance done by Lindy Hoppers as well. And it's a pretty simple dance, so anybody could do it. Now, we're gonna do the mirror game, which means I'll be using my left, and you folks at home are gonna be using your right foot, okay? All right, so you're just gonna start like this. Flat foot forward, bring it back, then switch feet, bring it back, and then you're gonna go twice on the right, okay? Let's do that in rhythm. A one, two, three, and the right, left, and double it up. Now you're gonna do the same thing on the left side. Left, right, and then double it up. Last time on the right side, right, left, double it up. Then after you do it three times, we're gonna hit something called the break. You're gonna go step, touch, which means don't put any weight on that back foot. Skip, skip, step, step. And you've learned the first step of the shim sham. Let's do that break one more time. You're gonna go step, touch, skip, skip, step, step. Now we're gonna put it all together. We're gonna do the pattern, right, left, right, and then we're going to do one break. Are you ready? All right, here we go. One, two, you know what to do. And right, left, and double it up. Then left, right, and double it up. You're going right, left, double it up. Here's the break. Step, touch, skip, skip, step, step. How'd you do? You did all right? Well, guess what? That's just the first part of the Shim Sham. We've got three more sections to go. So stay tuned to this program. And we want to thank you. Thank you so much for supporting the historic Swing 46 right here in Hell's Kitchen, New York City. See you soon. Welcome back, everyone. It's the Taptastic Brian Davis, and I'm back again to teach you the Shim Sham Shimmy, live at the historic Swing 46 in Hell's Kitchen. Here's the second step. Now, I call this the temptation step because there was a man by the name of Charlie Atkins, a tap dancer who used to choreograph for the Motown groups. So you that know the temptations, you may recognize this step. You're going to push, push, and you cross over. Then you push, push, and you cross over. Then you push, push, and you cross over. So that's done three times. Let's hit that one more time. One, two, you know what to do. We'll push, push. And you cross over, then you push. Now, if you're doing it right, it should feel real good. And you push, push, and you cross over. Now, all you're going to do is cross over, cross over. And that's the second step of the shim sham. Here we go. Let's put it all together. One, two, you know what to do. Let's push it and push it and you cross over. Then you push it, push it and you cross over. Then you push it and you cross over and you cross over and you cross over. All right now, we're just getting warmed up. I want to thank you again for supporting the historic Swing 46 
right here in Hell's Kitchen. My name is Taptastic Brian Davis. Stay tuned because we're going to go to the third step of the Shim Sham, and it's a good one. Welcome back once more to the historic Swing 46 in Health Kitchen, New York City. I'm Taptastic Brian Davis, and I'm going to teach you the third step of the Shim Sham. This step is called the Tacky Annie. So you get to get down and you get to get dirty with this step. Now, the story goes that Annie was a bar owner during Prohibition times, and she used to buck up to anyone who tried to shut down her establishment. So I want you to buck up with us here at Swing 46 and let's keep the house open, all right? Now let's bend our knees for the tacky Annie and you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. So you're gonna go back 12 times, starting with the right foot, and then after that, we're gonna do our break. And if you need a reminder of the break, it goes like this. Step, touch, skip, skip, step, step. One more time with that break. It's step, touch, skip, skip, step, step. So let's get low and let's do the tacky ante all together. You ready? One, two, you know what to do. And back, 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 uh-huh. Now when you're doing this step in jazz dance, not everybody has to look the same. You can put your own spin on the step. And step, skip, skip, step, step. I hope that felt real good. I hope it stirred up something in your spirit, something that says, hey, let's support this venue. Let's support the historic Swing 46 and keep a part of our history, our history as New Yorkers, our history as Americans alive. Again, I'm Taptastic Brian Davis. We have one more step to the Shim Sham and I can't wait to teach it to you. I'll see you soon. Hello folks out there. Welcome back to the historic Swing 46. My name is Taptastic Brian Davis and we've been learning the Shim Sham Shimmy. Now it's time to take it home with a little step called the Over the Top. Now in Lindy Hop, swing dancing and tap dancing, it's a lot about changing your weight. So I want you really to find a good base when you do this step. Bend your knees just a little bit, okay? You're going to lift up your right foot you're going to jump forward onto the right, jump back on the left, kick right, left. That's jump forward, jump back, kick, ball change. And in dance, we call that ball change, okay? In action, it looks like this. One, two, three, and jump back, kick, ball change. Jump, back, kick, ball change. Then you're going to do one break. Step, knock, skip, skip, step, step. Now that whole pattern is done two times, okay? So let's do it all together, a nice, easy tempo. Get your right foot ready, and let's get ready to do our weight change. One, two, three, and jump, step, kick, ball change. Jump, step, kick, ball change. Then you do the break. Again, jump, step, kick, ball change. Jump, step, kick, ball change. Last break, but this one's a little different. You're gonna end with jumping jacks. I'm gonna show you that last break one more time. You're going to go step, touch, skip, skip, 
jumping jacks. All right, let's put it all together. One, two, you know what to do. And jump, kick, ball, change, jump, kick, ball, change, and then you do the break. Again, jump, kick, ball, change, jump, kick, ball, change, and do the break with the jumping jack. All right. We've learned all four steps of the Shim Sham. If you've been watching, let's put it all together, starting from the top, okay? Here we go. One, two, you know what to do. And right, left, and double it up. Left, right, and double it up. Right, left, and double it up, and we're doing the break. Temptation step, push, push, and you cross over, then you push, push, and you cross over, then you push, push, and you cross over, and you cross over, and you get low, and back. We're doing the tacky ends. And you got to put your own thing into it. Let's do the break. And skip, skip. Last step, over the top. Jump, step, kick, and break. Again, jump, kick. Jump, kick, and you end with a jumping jack. Now the last thing you must do, lift up your hands and take a bow. That's right. You just learned the Tap Dance National Anthem, the Shim Sham Shimmy. Right here with me, Top-tastic Brian Davis at the historic Swing 46. Let's keep these doors open. If you have it in your heart, why not share with Swing 46? Care for Swing 46, and we'll care for you right back.